Hi, I'm Maki the Silva. This is Living the Silva Loca. Thank you for joining uh, me again. Um, today I'll be making a Brazilian chicken moqueca dish. Moqueca is a northeastern recipe from the northeastern states of Brazil. Um, generally it's made with seafood, but today I'm going to be adapting or making a minor version of it and uh, doing it with chicken. Um, I'm still in sci fi isolation as we all are, and so I decided today, being Easter, um, happy Easter, happy Passover. Um, I decided to do this uh, this uh, recipe for you and I do hope you enjoy it. If you do have questions, please leave your questions in the comments below. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy this recipe. What I'm going to do is actually saute uh, the onions, which I use one large onions. Um, I use like um, just a small sprig of uh, ginger uh, that I've cut up, as well as um, about uh, two teaspoons of a paprika, which um, I'll add. And what I'll do is I saute this for like a minute. I've added onions, like one large onion cut up. I've added a little dash of uh, paprika. I've added um, uh, just a, few, so a sprinkling of uh, chili flakes. And I've also added uh, three uh, teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. If you have uh, the whole garlic, you can use like three cloves and you chop that very fine. And then you can add that to it. And just let it uh, with my ginger as well, sorry. Like I've added, uh, about maybe two teaspoons of ginger as well. And I'm kind of uh, sauteing this, maybe for two, three minutes. Um, and you can see, see what it looks like. So after two, three minutes, um, I then add, I have here one large, or actually a half of a, uh, uh, pepper, like a pepper that I've minced or cut up, as well as a half uh, yellow peppers. I'm gonna throw that in, and three small tomatoes that I've crushed, and I'll throw that in as well. And I let that uh, 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 simmer for five minutes, about five to six minutes. Okay. So I've added my onions and my garlic, ginger, paprika, chili flakes and I've added my tomatoes and uh, peppers, red and um, uh, white peppers, and they have been uh, simmering for the, about between five and 10 minutes, depending on um, uh, how long um, or how high you set your um, stove. Generally, I keep it in medium. I've had my olive oil uh, and my garlic, ginger, paprika, chili flakes, um, and I've also added my tomatoes and peppers and they've been simmering for the past uh, uh, so I would say seven to eight minutes and this is what it looks like. It looks very nice and to this I'm going to add uh, um, four, um, four milliliter of like uh, uh, coconut milk and you can use low-fat coconut milk. So you add that right there and then you basically Basically, stir this around, mix this around, um, and you let this uh, simmer in the coconut milk for, uh, uh, I would say, between 15 minutes and 20 minutes on medium heat. It's been about 20 minutes now that this has been uh, simmering away, so I will now turn the stove off and then set it aside. So the first part of the moqueca is finished and I've set it aside and now I'm actually going to fry uh, the chicken that uh, I had uh, seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of oregano, rosemary uh, leaves as well. And so I'm just gonna um, uh, fry these until they're brown. 
I've now added the stew that was uh, to the side back onto the stove and um, I've added the chicken that we just fried inside and now I'm going to actually cover it. This part is a little bit too small but I think it would be fine. Um, so you add all of the chicken that you've uh, fried rather and you've added to that stew and now I'm going to cover it and let it simmer um, until um, it's done. Maybe another 20 minutes. One thing of note when you are cooking this please make sure you use a deeper pan because this is just a little bit too small so you need a pan that is a little bit more uh, deeper uh, but it looks good just another five minutes or so the sauce is getting thick the meat has to start falling off the bones uh, that's how you know it's ready but you can also taste it if uh, it needs a little bit more salt or a little bit more pepper this is the time that you can add it and also I've added just a little bit maybe a half of a lemon uh, juice squeezed as well so our mukeka is almost finished not just another minute or so and it will be ready on the side what i did was i actually was uh, cooking some rice and i just use uh, basmati rice um, and the way i cook it is two cups water to one cup of rice and just add some garlic uh, i love garlic um, some unsalted butter and a little bit of olive oil in the water and when it boils when the water starts boiling then you add the rice uh, the cup of rice and then you just let that boil for it takes maybe about eight to ten minutes this is done keka is done so we can just turn off the, the the stove and then let this cover this and then let it uh continue uh, just this is what it looks like um or uh mukeka with uh, chicken or using chicken uh, uh, this is what it looks like um, and I've also done some rice as I said and it's garnished with oregano and in Brazil there's a drink or a fruit called maracujá um, you, you cannot get that fruit here in Toronto but um, you can buy uh, the concentrated version of it and you can make it or you can make lemonade um, so this is what it looks like Hope you enjoy the mukeka recipe with chicken from Bahia in Brazil and uh, try it, try out the recipe. I will actually post the recipe down below as well, uh, the full recipe, because there is a vegetarian option as well. Um, also, I want to wish everyone again a happy Easter, a happy Passover, and please remember before you go, please subscribe to my link below. Thank you. Okay, gratitude, ciao.